Holy crap. Holy smokes. We are back, ladies and gentlemen. I literally just got done recording a separate video. I was getting ready to upload that, and boom, the Philly Take Discord. If you haven't joined the Discord, link down in the description. The Discord starts blowing up. What's going on? What's going on? Boom, the Sixers make a signing. They have a wing. They have a wing. Daryl is revived from the dead. The Sixers are awake and living and breathing, and here we are a couple weeks away from training camp and the Sixers signed a wing they finally did it we will talk about it we'll break it down we'll give you all the latest we are here live reacting essentially in real time it just happened two seconds ago but before we do that a shout out to our sponsor of today's video shout out to the partner of today's video mint mobile if you out there are similar to everyone else in the world who has thought to themselves at one point why is my wireless bill so high then mint mobile is for you Mint Mobile offers premium wireless for as low as $15 per month, and you don't have to sacrifice any coverage, speed, or data. They're built on the nation's largest 5G network and keep costs low because they sell directly to you online, cutting out the retail stores and salespeople. Why should you pay more than you have to for access to the same network? You can go and use that money to treat yourself to a Sixers game or even buy a new jersey. All Mint Mobile plans include unlimited nationwide talk and text, plus lightning fast 5G and free mobile hotspot. They even offer super affordable family plans with as little as two lines and switching to mint is super easy thanks to their digital e-sim cards you can sign up and activate immediately right on your phone from the comfort of your home and if your phone isn't e-sim compatible mint will actually ship you a new sim card free of charge the whole process will only take about 15 minutes and if you get stuck, Mint has a great customer service team to help you through it. So if you are interested in reliable coverage and fast data for a fraction of the cost, go to mintmobile.com slash Philly Take. You can go right down to the description of this video and click the link, or you can scan the QR code on the screen. All right, man, let's jump into it. By the way, this is Philly Take with RB. I'm so excited. I can't sit down right now. I'm pumped. I'm pumped. Hit the like button. Subscribe. We're giving you the breaking news right here as we live react. And the Sixers have made a signing. Boom. Free agent Kelly Oubre Jr. According to Adrian Wojnarowski, expected to sign a one-year deal with the Philadelphia 76ers. Oubre averaged 20 points per game last season for Charlotte. Could get significant opportunity on the wing. Oh, you're speaking my language. With the uncertainty around James Harden. Oh, wait. Let, this is the best part here. This is the best part. Crystal Ball RB is announced. Daryl Morey is watching the videos. Daryl, thank you so much. I appreciate you, and thanks for tuning in. I put this out on July 10th. Let me get a Crystal Ball RB in the chat. Crystal Ball RB in the comments. I said this on July 10th. I'm expecting the Sixers to bring back Danny Green or sign Kelly Oubre Jr. They signed both. They signed both. Let's go. Let's go. These were the really the only two remaining options for the last couple months that I saw being a fit based on the need here in Philadelphia. Obviously, I was much more inclined to go after Kelly Oubre, but they end up bringing both here. Uh, Daryl must be watching the show, man. Now, I put this out as well. This was on July 16th when I was trying to make a pitch for Kelly Oubre Jr., and this kind of sums up how I feel about him, honestly. I mean, I already did the work here. Uh, the biggest knocks on Kelly Oubre last year that you need to know about. He was very inefficient as a shooter. So you hear the 20 points per game. It wasn't really that efficient. Now, again, part of that could be he's on a, a bottom of the barrel team when it comes to the Charlotte Hornets. Part of that could be he's just uninterested, whatever it is. But Kelly Oubre has been a pretty effective bench player. I remember a couple years back, he was in the running for six man of the year. And last year, he had about 7.4 field goals on 17 field goal attempts per game. And he had 1.3 turnovers, which was not good. He was very inefficient, especially as a ball handler. But as I say here, he would be better on the Sixers as he doesn't have to take as many shots or handle the ball nearly as much. He'd also improve the Sixers perimeter defense, although he is a streaky player. Sometimes he gets in these grooves. He's on fire. He's going off for 23 points and, you know, seven rebounds. And then sometimes he's having one of them games where he goes one for 11. Hopefully he doesn't have a lot of those here in Philadelphia, but I mean, it's obvious why he signed here. He's going to get a lot of minutes. He's going to get a role. Nick Nurse can help develop some of his wings, and man, I think it'll be a great fit. Not anywhere near a perfect player, but the Sixers need a wing, and this is the best remaining option. 
And here's what Bobby Marks just said about Kelly Oubre. Here's Philly before the Oubre Jr. signing. 14 guaranteed contracts, one partial non-guaranteed, two exhibit 10s, and three two-ways. And now with the signing, the Sixers are at the league maximum 21 players. So it took a while. A lot of people thought Kelly Oubre would be a, uh, a signing during free agency. Nobody ended up picking him up. That also tells you something about him. But man, with some of his numbers, we'll take a look at his stats here. I do think there's a lot of room, a lot of promise for him to be kind of a microwave scorer off the bench. I do not have the final contract details. They'll probably come out while I'm making this. But hey, man, we're here trying to bring, bring you the news in real time. Uh, here are the numbers from Kelly Oubre. Last year with the Charlotte Hornets, he's been in the league, what, eight years now? He's been with the Wizards, the Suns, the Warriors. You know, very interesting journey for Kelly Oubre. But last year, he had his career high 20 points per game off of the bench primarily for the Charlotte Hornets. Well, actually, he started 40 games. I thought it was a little less than that. Uh, but before that, like with the Hornets, 13 games started uh, with the Warriors, the Suns, right? He's always been around that 15, 20 point uh, mark. Now, his three-point percentage has not been nearly anything that you want to see uh, from a wing type of player. Last year, he had five rebounds per game, right? He's definitely a little bit of a better defender, but again, he gets in these rhythms where, you know, he's shown a lot of promise and he's having one of those crazy bench games and then he kind of disappears. So he gets hot, he gets cold, but isn't that kind of the story with a lot of bench players? That's why they're primarily on the bench. Um, but again, he's not going to have to be a guy that goes out and handles the ball and is getting stripped or, you know, near midcourt. No, he's going to be the guy that posts up, that moves around, that sets screens, and he's going to be able to spot up from the wing and, and knock down some threes, hopefully with better looks. You know, when Joel B draws double teams or when Tyrese Maxey's running a pick and roll and Nick Nurse loves to get that ball in his offense moving around, a lot of motion, right? He's going to get Kelly Oubre some good looks here, and that is something that I like to see. Uh, but yeah, man, just a vet that's been around the game Obviously, again, you look at last year, he had, you know, almost 17 shot attempts per game. So not really an efficient 20 points, but given more opportunities and given better looks and not playing with a team like the Hornets, who were essentially tanking, maybe he will have a better role here in Philadelphia. I'm just glad that the Sixers actually showed me something. That's why I'm excited, right? I'm not sitting here saying Kelly Oubre is going to be sixth man of the year, but I think he will have a role, and I'm just excited that the Sixers finally addressed the forward position. They finally went out and signed a wing. I was really sitting here contemplating, wondering, what's going to happen? Like, is this team only going to sign centers and no wings? No, they finally picked somebody up, and they probably got him, I would say, for a minimum deal. He's probably on a one-year bet it on himself type of deal, and man, he has a, a real chance, right? That's going to give him motivation to step up, be his best version as well. And man, I, I'm just excited for this signing. Again, I really like it. Danny Green, I don't really feel has a lot left in the tank, but when it comes down to it, man, I, I think that Kelly Oubre will still be able to play. Actually, how old is Kelly Oubre? He, what is he, like 29? 29, let me guess. 27. He's only 27. So look, man, he's supposedly entering his prime and you know he's a former first round pick. There's been hype on him before. He's just got to be locked in, man. When he was with the Warriors, right, he was, uh, you know, definitely in a better situation than the Hornets. But, yeah, man, he's been talked about up and down the last couple of years. That's the story of a lot of bench players. And I think Nick Nurse and his team are going to hold him to a higher standard. So I'm really excited. We will see how it plays out. But Kelly Oubre Jr. is the newest signing of the Philadelphia 76ers. He'll be there in a couple of weeks at training camp. And, uh, Hopefully this wakes Daryl Morey up and hopefully they get moving here with more deals to come. Give me all your thoughts on this signing down below in the comments section. Appreciate everybody for tuning in. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. That being said, I will catch you all on the next one. Peace. Peace.